Honourable Nanaya Mahuta. Order, Mr. Speaker, Point of order. I seek leave to hold this question over until the Minister of Māori Affairs is present to answer this very serious question. Leave is sought for that course of action. Is there any objection? Oh, leave was sought to hold this question over. There is objection. Uh, the Honourable Nanaya Mahuta. Mr. Speaker, my question is to the real Minister of Māori Affairs and asks oh, what advice, order, if any. Order. The uh, member must ask her question to the Minister of Māori Affairs as on the uh, order paper. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Māori Affairs and asks what advice, if any, has he received from Te Puni Kōkiri on the effect a rise in GST will have on the well-being of Māori families? The Honourable Bill English. <laughs> Kia ora. Kia ora. <laughs> order. The next best thing. Point of order, the, the Honourable Darren Hughes. Order and point of Māori, order. It's clear that the Minister of Māori Affairs can't be present to answer the question, but the Associate Minister of Māori Affairs is present, and, and the member is clearly wanting to ask a Māori Minister about this order. question. Uh, that is a matter up to, for the Government which Minister answers when the Minister is not present. The Honourable Bill English, on behalf <laughs> of the Minister of Māori Affairs. Order. Speaker, the question has been asked. Let's hear the answer. Mr. Speaker, I'm advised that I'm advised the Minister of Maori Affairs has received some advice from TPK. That advice says that the impact would vary from household to household depending on income and spending patterns, and of course the impact would vary would depend entirely on what other measures would be part of a tax package. The Honourable Nanai Mahuta. Supplementary, does he, as the Minister of Māori Affairs, support the Māori Party Private Members Bill to remove GST from food? If so, how does he reconcile this conflict with his government's plan to instead increase GST across the board? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, the Minister of Māori Affairs is part of a range of discussions with the government over this and related issues. The Honourable Nanai, Ma the Honourable Nanai Mahuta. Does the Minister stand by his words to, quote, argue the case for Māori, end of quote, and if so, what response does the Minister expect to give Māori families who, as a result of an increase in GST, will struggle to put kai on the table and feed their tamariki? How is that whānau order? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, the advice to the Ministry of Māori Affairs makes it clear that the impact of GST would depend on what other measures are taken as part of a tax package for instance, to reduce income taxes faced by those same Māori families. I'd expect that his discussions with the government will also include the longer-run benefits of an economy that creates more jobs, generates higher incomes, and that is certainly in the interests of Māori families, probably more than many other families. The Honourable Parakura Horomi. Mr Speaker, to the Minister of Māori Affairs, does he stand by his statement, sometimes we pass a bill and then we forget we passed it and talk against it? I have to ring the Prime Minister and say, oops, or he rings me. If so, will his support for the government to increase GST be something he votes for, then talks against, then tells the Prime Minister and Māori, oops? The Honourable Bill English. What I can say is that the current Minister of Māori Affairs makes his views a great deal more clearer than the previous Minister of Māori Affairs. Used to. Question number nine, John Biscowan. Oh, I beg your pardon. Supplementary question. Order. Order. I say to members, it's hard for me to hear members calling. The Honourable Nana Mahuta. Does the Minister intend to administer Fano order through a newly established trust? And if so, why aren't they using Te Puni Kōkiri? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, the question is a bit wide of the mark, but um, I can tell uh, that Minister that the Minister of Māori Affairs is engaged in intensive discussions with the Government over uh, that programme. And I must say... Uh, that there is some um, real energy around the basic change and vital change in delivery of our social services, which in 10 years that government talked about and never did. And so many families have missed out on support they should have had, and so much money was wasted, which could now be used more effectively. Point of order, Mr. Point Speaker. of order, the Honourable Nanaima. That clearly didn't answer the question that was asked. Order. Order, order up on my feet. The dilemma I have is that the supplementary question the member asked was a long stretch from the primary question. 
and, uh, and I didn't, uh, I didn't inter intervene to stop the question being answered. I didn't rule it out of order, but it makes it very difficult for me to, to then insist on the, uh, the minister give any particular answer. It seemed to me he did actually give a reasonable answer to the question. Asked, uh, question number nine, John Biscowan. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance.